Now, there are these wonderful images of uh, snowfall in places like Shimla, in Mandi, in Doda, in Jammu and Kashmir, and everyone's enjoying these images. But what it has meant for the national capital is anything but wonderful. A cold wave is predicted to hit Delhi in the national capital region next week, where temperatures are expected to go as low as 3 degrees uh, Celsius. And um, uh, the... The authorities, are after bone-chilling nights of the past several weeks, the IMD's prediction means that things could get worse for Delhi residents. In fact, the weather department is now warning people of frostbite, asking them to limit their outdoor activities. This is how 63-year-old Rafiq, a sanitation worker in Delhi, is preparing for another spell of the capital's longest cold wave in nearly eight years. The only refuge for migrant workers like him is this tiny shack. With only temporary relief from the biting cold, severe chills are on the horizon for states across North India from Rajasthan to Delhi. After a heavy snowfall alert for the Himalayan states, the cold wave is set to return to the northern plains with temperatures expected to fall to freezing lows. In Delhi, for example, the minimum temperatures may fall to 0 to 2 degrees Celsius, nearly three notches below the season's normal. It will not be any record-breaking temperature during the uh, ensuing three to five days. Of course, there will be fall in temperature by 4 to 6 degrees Celsius over the plains of northwest India and adjoining central India. There could be cold wave conditions in some places over Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, Delhi. West UP, northern parts of uh, Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. But however, the last week intense cold wave spell, what we've realized, if we compare with that, it will be less intense and also it will have the less duration. Dense to very dense fog is also predicted across the national capital. But what you see in Delhi is not fog, but toxic smog. The dipping temperatures, Delhi continues to breathe air that kills. Unfortunately, the air quality panel's efforts are too little, too late. Vedant Agarwal for NDTV.